hello my youtube family welcome to my video today again i'll be making cornrows on my hair this time i have a wedding coming up and i needed to put this hair in a way i can use a wig because i won't have the time to style my hair that particular day the person gets married she's like a sister to me she's like a family to me and you know that kind of wedding you just know it you will not have the time to style your hair so that was it if you like to see the vlog for the wedding you can leave it in the comment section so i had to um, part my hair into two parts that way it's easy for me to see what i'm doing and it's easy for me to calculate um the number of cornrows that will be on my head so the plan is to make it five on each side so that's a total of ten that way the wig will not show any form of bumps although it's a curly hair but i just love my wigs to sit very well i only have to worry about the back and that's how i just be bumpy of course because of the length but what can i do it's a curly hair i'm sure it'll work out i decided to detangle my hair and while detangling my hair guys i saw a silver strand i always love it whenever i see a silver strand on my hair i don't know why don't ask me why i just love it i don't know at times i just wish like one part of my hair would just be like silver strands <laughs> okay so because i already had my hair stretched in the whole thread pattern that's a link up in case you want to stretch your hair that way it was very easy for me to detangle the hair and that's what i was doing here i just had a little oil on my palm and it was really um easy for me to detangle my hair and put this hair in corners my hair has increased in length again at this point i think i'm about 18 inches or 18.5 year about my hair grew challenge before i joined the challenge i think i was around 17 inches and that shows that we are we are going we're moving i was going well and the only struggle and everything only for me to just turn and just take a look in the mirror and then i saw what you guys are seeing right now yes the pattern was wrong very wrong very wrong i was like god what do i do not again but then as a strong warrior that i am i decided to repart that line and i went ahead to start making it Keep watching guys please you guys don't come for me in the comment section and start saying the line the pattern was not really it was not really spotted where just like moses parted the red sea like i don't really care you know like i said this was for your wig and honestly the mirror i had at the back is nothing to write home about you guys don't even want to see that mirror it's as tiny as what i don't even know and i had to pin it to my mannequin let me not give you a picture to imagine in your head because it's never very it's not necessary progress reports ta -da! here we had two and this was looking really good i was loving the result and it was time to make the third one and i noticed that this was like way bigger than the other two but again who cares i don't and the hairs on my head i don't really care so no other person should care right yeah If you are seeing my video for the first time, my name is Didi and you are welcome to this very dramatic hair content creator space, okay? I'm not very dramatic but I guess I am, my videos are. <laughs> Please do well to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you think about the video and let me know the kind of content you would like to see next, okay? So for the whole cornrow drama, the most annoying thing I really experienced making my own cornrow or making my hair generally 
is the fact that I have to do the parting myself and honestly I don't think I can let any other person do the parting for me except you've done that for me before and I really liked it or it was very comfortable because I have a very soft scalp and any little form of pain on my head man I can't take it you know that kind of thing a lot of people they don't feel it my sister has a very hard scalp although she claims not to but just sometimes I kind of pull her hair intentionally and she doesn't say anything about it or maybe she's just quiet because I'm a younger sister I don't know but I have a really soft scalp and parting my hair having all these tangles when I'm trying to make the hair is very hard your shoulders your arms everything just like hurts and when you are done it feels like you carried a bag of rice like from Nigeria to another country you become so exhausted like and you'll be sitting down all through it's just very 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 tiring and annoying but once you part your hair trust me and you want to remake that particular hairstyle you don't have to think of parting your hair again because you've parted it before so all you have to do is just to take out one detangle it remake it take out the next and just like that it goes on and on and on like that and that is the plan you guys know now that's the plan who likes stress nobody Yeah guys, I'm done with the first part, the right part of my head and it's time to take the second part. Like I said, don't come for me for my parting, okay? It was hard. Let, this is the video, let me show you guys. This is how hard it was to part. Do you know what it means for hair? Is, hair is blocking the left side. The hair is blocking the right side. Like, and the mirror behind is so small, like I said. So it was really tough. It was really annoying. I was struggling, struggling to part this hair. This is it in real time. I'm not even capping. I used hours. These are just corners and I used hours. I used about mm, probably four hours. Three, three, four hours there about to make this hair if I'm correct or probably even more than. I can't exactly recall. But that's how long it takes to part the hair. So please don't come for me. I was already so late for my lash appointment. I had to reschedule again and I just had to plead with her and she was like, it's so okay. The time I had to change to, I'd already come. And I was like, girl, pack your hair like that and start going. So I was left with just one and it was a few minutes to the exact time I was to meet her up. And I was to like go out, walk down to the place. So I calculated, calculated the entire time and I was like, no, 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 I have to take this hair out like that. Take a look at me. Just, just, just to the lashes. Done. It's done. It's done. One thing I love from lash extension is the sudden um beauty adds to you even if you're just on like cornrows or whatever it just gives you this face that girl you can go out without makeup you can you, you, it's like a full makeup coverage on its own i don't know if you agree with me you can just say it in the comment but that's just the truth it just gives your face this complete it's giving this complete good vibe you know what i'm saying okay so this is the last one and all thanks to good we are almost done again if you've not subscribed please hit the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and yeah let's just be done with this before you go ahead to ask me what that white stuff is on my head that is a mole and i so love it yep and again i took a look at the pattern and it was not so good but who am i to lose the second one and then repart it i'm not that kind of person i said you know what this is for a week it will be covered not just covered with the wig covered with everything <laughs> so nobody really cares and i don't really care and i'm tired so i decided to just leave it that way because my room as it is was already upside down i had to go arrange my bag for the journey that i did not even end up going to the next day anyway any which way any which way as you guys would like to say it the hair still came out looking nice i guess and Conroe just looks very good with my kind of face. It fits my face. I love it. Although it makes me look too young, I end up looking so much like a child that I'm not. So, but anyways, the lashes made me look like an adult. I decided to go in with my beads. You guys know I love beads so much. And the hair was ready to simple. Since I was not going to travel the next day or the third day, I was like, why not? Let me just like add this bead to it to just make it look really good for church the next day and i'm going to show you guys how i styled my hair to church 
so here it's a good night i was going to bed and i'll show you guys tomorrow morning i need a transition tada i always look good in cornrows told ya look at this thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up leave a comment i love reading your comments and i'll definitely reply your comments thank you so much for watching again love ya bye